Peach said, welcome everybody to another phonics lesson with us. Peach has been keeping track of all the sounds that you've been learning. And she's heard today that we're making really good progress and learning quite a tricky sound. Yeah, she doesn't know what it is yet. Do you know what it is? I don't know if you do or not. Maybe you do know this one already. Who knows? But it's going to be very new for some of you. Okay, so before we learn our, first, uh, our next sound, we first need to practice all the sounds that we already know. So, come on Peach, let's have a look. Oh, there's so many. Oh, she's shocked. She can't believe how many digraphs and one trigraph that you know. She's shocked at all of the sounds we've learned, aren't you? Yes. She's excited to know what's coming next. So let's get started and go through our quick sounds. Let's go. Qu, sh, ch, f, or v, m, a, e, u, o, r, or, ow, i, uh, uh, oi. Oh, Peach! <laughs> oh, she can't believe how many we know. Did you fall down in shock? Yes, she's fallen down in shock. We've got more to learn, Peach, so we best get cracking. Let's go through those sounds this time. I won't say anything. Peach won't say anything. You do all the talking. Ready? Go. go that fast if you did well done and if you didn't well done because there's still lots to remember even if we're going a bit slowly isn't there but just keep practicing okay right we're going to have our one minute challenge all right <laughs> what did you say peach oh <gasps> peach finds it quite tricky to read these words quickly but she hasn't been learning it for very long that's okay isn't it so, does it matter if we don't beat the timer? No, Peach, it doesn't matter. All right, so I have got my one minute timer here, just like I do in the classroom. And you're going to see how many words you can read in this one minute, then we'll learn our new sound, okay? Now, if I were you, I would start at this purple word, go down that first list, then I'd go to the top of the next list, then I'd go to the top of this next list where the red word is, go all the way to the bottom if I can, if I've got that far. Okay, so see how far you can get. Don't panic. It's not actually a race. We're just racing against this little timer and if we don't beat it, it's fine. It means that the next time you try it, you might get a few more words in your minute. Are you ready to go, reception? Yeah? Okay, Peach, are you ready? No, don't be worried, she's a bit worried. Tell her not to worry. Okay, she's listened. Okay, right. Ready, go. Keep trying. Nearly time. Gone. How many words did you read? Oh, oh, Peach said she just read four. That's good, Peach. Say to her, well done. Yeah, well done, Peach. Let's go through those words now, shall we? Okay, if you got one word, two words, four words like Peach, eight words, who, it doesn't matter. And if you got all of them, good job. But honestly, good job for trying anyway. All right, let's go through them. S, oi, o, soil, t, o, d, t, 
code. N I T night er uh, her sheep sheep ch a n chain ch church church k ow cow b r ow n brown sh ark shark u i t light brilliant job okay so today <gasps> don't be so surprised you just made me jump then doing that peach okay peach has no idea what this sound is okay it's a trigraph now peach we've already learned one trigraph which was i do you remember i g h three letters one sound here is another trigraph. It's our mystery sound under this shape. Before we learn what this sound is, we're going to look at the pictures to give us a clue. Ah, ah. What did you say, Peach? <gasps> she said she's excited. Okay, so let's have a look. We've got a chair. We have some stairs. We have hair and the fair. Let's say those words again. Chair, stairs, hair, fair. Can you hear the same sound in all of those words? Chair, stairs, fair, hair. I can hear it too. Now if we look at these words, there are sound buttons. Can you see a trigraph that's been underlined? Ch, air, st, airs, h, air, f, air. <laughs> what are you saying, Peach? <gasps> Me too. Peach is saying that she can hear the sound air. Can you? Can you just sit down for a minute? Yeah. Okay. So, under our mystery shape, we're going to see the trigraph air. Can you wave your hands in the air? There we go. Air. Do it with me. Air. And again. Air. We wave our hands in the air. Okay. So, three letters. One, two, three. Not a digraph. What is it? It's a trigraph because tri means three. So triangle has three sides. A trigraph has three sounds. Sorry, three letters, one sound. Okay, three letters, one sound. Your turn. Can you say it? Three letters, one sound. Well done. Okay, <clears throat> let's get reading. Ah, uh, two, there's a digraph, two sound buttons, a digraph and a trigraph. What does it say? Ch, air, chair. Let's have a look. Easy peasy. Well done. Okay, ready? Air. What are we going to see? Hair. Very good. Oh, oh, reception. This is a long word. I can't do that. Can you? How are we going to read this long word? Now, do you remember a while ago, I did say, if we see a long word, cover half of it up and just do the first bit. So, let's do that first bit. Ready? Oh, I've just moved it. Ready? F, a, n. Fun. That's easy. Fun. F, air, fair, fun, fair, fun, fair. What are we reading? Fun fair. What are we going to see under our shape? The fun fair. What can we see at fun fairs? What could be in our picture? Let's make a prediction. Let's have some guesses. Do you think there'll be a big wheel? Maybe. 
could be a roller coaster maybe, or a train ride. Sweets, burgers, what else might we see at the fun fair? Children, people having fun, do you think? Okay, let's have a look. <sighs> There's a merry-go-round with the horses on. There is a roller coaster, that looks like a rather big roller coaster, and there is a big wheel. How lovely, oh, I love the fun fair, do you? Haven't been for a long time though, have we? Hopefully we'll get to go soon, not too long. Okay, this is a bit harder because there are two consonants before our trigraph. Can we have a really good go at reading this word? Ready? S, t, e, s. Let's try that again. S, t, e, s. Stairs. So what are we going to see? Some stairs, yep. Who might be going up or down the stairs? I don't know either. Ah, look, we've got somebody going up the stairs, and somebody coming down. We don't know who they are. They're just drawings, aren't they? I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. Oh no, it's another long word. Should we just avoid it or should we try? Should we run away from a hard word or should we give it our best shot? Should we give it our best? Okay, right, so I'm going to cover up half the word and this first part's super easy because it's just our trigraph, look. What's this sound? Air. Good. Air. Air. P. O. T. P. O. T. Air. P. O. T. Airport. What is an airport? Hmm. An airport is somewhere where planes fly, yeah? They fly from and fly to. So some of you may have been to an airport before, it would have been a long time ago. Um, I love going to the airport because it means I'm going somewhere nice. But I haven't been to one for a long time, so I'm really looking forward. That's one of my hopes and dreams. I'm really looking forward to going to an airport again. What might we see under our square shape here? Mm, we might see some planes. Anything else? Should we have a look? Oh yes, there's a plane. Here's a plane that looks like it's about to go off. There's some luggage. And there's a little truck. We've got the airport here, the trees around it. Looks like a nice airport, doesn't it? Okay, now I've been a bit mean. There's some air words and no sound buttons. But we know this is what our trigraph looks like. Can we see it in these three words? Have a look now. Can you see where air is? Mm -hmm. I can see it here here and here. Can you have a go at reading these words for me? I'm listening, I'm listening. Good, P pair, pair. I have a pair of socks, a pair of smelly stinky socks. Let's try this one, off you go. And again. Hair, good, I have dark hair. You might have curly hair. Mr. Trope has curly hair. We always say that, don't we? <sighs> air hair. Okay, we have a digraph here and the trigraph. Off you go. And again. Ch air chair. Sit down on the chair. Good. I'm so impressed. Should we play a game? Yeah, let's get Peach back. Peach, wake up. Oh, she's gone to sleep. Wake her up. Tell her to wake up. Say, Come on, Peach. Come on. Where is she? Come on, Peach. Oh, she said she's just having a little nap while you practice reading those words. She's going to play the game with us. Okay, this is called the yes, no game. Okay, so we read the sentence together. Then we decide, is it a yes answer? or a no answer. Does it make sense? Is it a sensible sentence or a silly sentence? And then we can tell our grown-ups or siblings or anyone that we've got near us or just think it in our minds why. Why we think it's a yes or a no. Are you ready to play? Yeah? Okay. Can, can she run can she run 
Often on a. Can she run on a? This is a long word, isn't it? Hmm. R rock. Rock. Rock it. Mm. Rocking. Let's read it back. Can she run on a rocking chair? Can she? Can she run? Can she run? I think they mean this old lady. Can she run on a rocking chair, do you think? I don't think so. No, Peach doesn't think so. Why not? Why do you think she can't run on a rocking chair? Mm. Yeah, I agree, Peach. Peach thinks she can't run on a rocking chair because you'd fall off. It would be dangerous to stand on that rocking chair and then to try and run. You can't run off a rocking chair. You can't run on the rocking chair. I think you just sit on a rocking chair, do you? I wonder what you came up with. Okay, next question. As, has, an, an, owl, or. Has an owl, has an owl got, got a p air? Has an owl got a pair of, of, f eat, feet? Let's read it back. Has an owl got a pair of feet? Hmm. What do you think? Yes or no? I think so too, Peach. Do you think an owl has a pair of feet? Why do you think that? Why do you think that, Peach? Hmm. Peach says she can see the owl has two feet and a pair means two. So she does have a pair of feet, or he does. We don't know if it's a girl or a boy. Do you have a pair of feet? Yes, I hope they're not smelly. Okay, next question. As, has, he, has he got, got, has he got, b, r, ow, n, brown, has he got brown, air. Let's read it back. Has he got brown hair? Hmm, what do we think? Hmm, has he got brown hair? No, I don't think he has because it's blonde. We can see it's not brown. It's not like mine, is it? No, well done reception. You're doing a great job with the game. Okay, now we need something to write on. Can you find something? I'll go and get something too. Okay, guys. Peach is exhausted. She's just gone and had a rest. Do you want to see where she is? She's so lazy, honestly. Look, she's doing what I wish I was doing right now. <gasps> she's having a little lie down. Peach, wakey, wakey. <sighs> I'll show her all the work you do, don't worry. When you email me your work, I'll make sure she sees it. Okay, so we're going to write some words to match the pictures, all right? So we're going to start with hair. Right, now this is hard, because it's a trigraph. I've got to think of the three letters that make that one sound. But how many sounds do I need? Let's sound out hair together. <sighs> air, <sighs> air. So I need a, <sighs> don't I? Then I need air, a, e, brr, thank you. And put my sound buttons on. <sighs> Air. Okay, I'm trying really hard. Hair. My air is here to help us, but I'm trying not to look. All right, let's try fair. Okay, fair. If you wanted to make this a bit harder for yourself because this is quite easy for you, why don't you write fun fair? That would be harder, wouldn't it? Fair. So I need air. 
good. And Great. Hair fair. I think I'm going to try chair now. Okay, chair. So, ch air. It's only two sounds. I think it's going to be more letters, isn't it? Because I've got a digraph in ch. That's two letters. Then I've got air, which is three letters. Ch air. Two and three, two out of three, that's five. I need five letters, but it's only two sounds. It's so confusing. So there's my first two letters. Ch. Then I need air. A, I, R. Ch, air. Chair. Well, I filled my board. I haven't written stairs yet. But as a challenge, you could write stairs, couldn't you? Hair, fair, chair. Have a go at stairs and let me know how you get on. And if you're feeling extra, extra clever and you think, Mrs. Parr, I'm not ready to finish. I would like an extra challenge, please. Can you write a sentence? So you could write, I have curly hair. I have brown hair. Or my mummy has brown hair. My daddy has no hair. I don't know, you can tell me anything you like about hair. I don't mind. You could write about the fair. I go to the fair. I play at the fair. Have a little thing. But if you do challenge yourself, get your sentence arm out, remember? And remember to say your sentence along your arm because it really helps, doesn't it? Good job, everybody. Well done. And we shall speak to you very, very soon. I'm super duper proud of you. So is Peach, but she's asleep. She's snoring.